We got the Nick set Pacers. Watch Flight. I ain't taking any risk of getting blocked. What it do? And we actually is funnier with them. Because I ain't funny. Flight team stand up. It may be May, but June is on the way. We got the Indiana Pacers versus the New York Knickerbockers. That's Indiana? Game three, round two of the Eastern Conference Semifinals. Indiana has a, a tall building like this? 2024. The Knicks were brunching hard. Probably nothing in there, though. Hartstein. Emmanuel Quickly. Josh Hart. Randall LeJohn. And the rest are nobodies. The Pacers. With Halliburton, Miles Turner, McConnell, Sycon, and the rest are no games. Check it out. Josh Hart. Oh, 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 oh. You know he ain't cut. Yeah, hey, played every minute of the series. Played every minute of the series. Looking like me on 2K. Tildo got his dream team right now. He ain't going to complain. To the Pacers for the next two games. And he hit in threes. Ooh. Nice spin. The Knicks are leading 2-0. Well. This is a must-win situation for Indiana. You know, they, you know everyone on their grandma going to start hitting threes for the Pacers. You know, role players play better at home than you do on the road. So, you know, expect more people to hit threes and whatnot. And do Euro steps and do spin moves and lay layups and whatnot. And they contractor for the top of the key. You know, palm fakes, yep. Swing, swing. Halla bacon. Step back to the side. Yes, sir. Cool three ball. Quarter pocket. Dang, ain't Garner. I know his jump. I know his form is ugly, but that stroke is pretty. You got to guard it, bro. You got to guard it. That jump shot, the prettiest thing, is the ugliest thing of beauty I've ever seen. The form is ugly, but the stroke is pretty. You have to guard him. Top of the key. He's on team bus for a reason now. Ship station takes the hassle out of ship. Talking about ship station flight. We increased our efficiency incredibly. Ship station. Get top of the boat Order. Lineup. Order. Dang, I got sent. Oh boy, you got right. Okay, stay good way to stay with it. <laughs> Ooh. Mm. This is crazy. Yeah. Halliburton with the layup finger up. Did I press record too? Yes, indeed. All right, let me go back full screen. Turner with a quick little calm drive. Watch swing past Hartstein. Two seven feet tall. Bro, stop. Yes, exactly. Yes, he, and I hate it. He loves that floater, and I hate it. Your seven feet tall dunk on someone, or at least try to. Dang! This man act like he's 6'4 or some shit, bro. Them stupid floaters. You ain't Bruce Brown in his prime, baby. Remember Bruce Brown when he was at the Nets? All he would do is set the screen and roll and do that little floater. Back when they had Kyrie, Katie, and James Harden. And they'll just have Bruce Brown set the screen and roll. They'll double Harden and go Kyrie, Katie. And he'll just be able to bounce past the Bruce Brown. He'll do a floater in the lane. Bro, this is embarrassing. Everybody in the crowd, bro, 35,000 plus fans stood up just to see him in all backboard. Dang! And then top it got packed. I guess what, Fly? We all did that for you, too. We all did that for you, too, and your basketball IRLs. So shut up. Got heart running. Bro, this man Turner, like, bro, what are you seven foot for? You didn't even bother jumping. You could have blocked that in the cheap seats. Halliburton with the finger roll. One thing he can do is finger roll. Nice to see Ooh. In there. I know he had a little injury. Ooh. Looks like he's doing pretty fine to me. Gonna right. throw the lob. Oh, he's still. He's doing pretty fine to me. Hey, y'all know, yeah, yeah. Hey, if you just ran to the rim, I would have thrown you with a nice lob. But now nah, you want to go to the three point line. That's crazy. The DiVincenzo. For the it's all Steph Curry's fault. Brunching off the screen. Why is DiVincenzo setting screens? DiVincenzo top of the key. He wasn't doing this for the Warriors last year. He's with this Villanova brothers. All of a sudden, he can't miss. Man's with this Villanova brothers. All of a sudden, he can't miss. He was not doing this in New York. That's why I said role players play better at home. He was not doing this in New York. Oh, he got right it back. back. Oh, he got Whoa. set. Oh, what a 
Good, great defense. Y'all both teams. Dio what this right still looking like me on 2K? This is get swatted. That's not like me on 2K. I want to get so I want to switch hands in midair or there's something nasty. Create some contact and one probably. Or get at least the two shots of the free throw line. Oh! Yeah. Okay. McConnell shoots threes? I thought you only took mid range. Side got with the rebound. Nice. Good cut. Good cut. Good catch. 31 28 Indiana. McConnell. I don't know why he scored when he scores. It's funny to me. I don't know why. I guess because he's getting baskets he has no business getting. That's why. McConnell. Okay. Got a five day contract to pass it to DiVincenzo. Woo! Oh, it's contested. Wow. They said DiVincenzo three or four so far downtown. He can do that? So why is Hardenstein guarding point? In and out cross? He can do that? DiVincenzo top of the key. Oh, bump. All right, he got his takeover now. He's on fire. He's on fire. Right through DiVincenzo. Brunson on the bench. Get a ball to DiVincenzo. Got a five day contractor. Alert. And one. And one. Yeah, Bacon dancing. You know he ain't missing Indiana either. Five for nine. You know he gonna take more than nine. Yep. But uh, he about to say twenty nine shots. He got more. He got plenty more. He got a. He in his bag right now. He got another bag in his car. And he got. He probably got like two more bags in his car. He ain't done yet. Halliburton. Okay. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> fire for three. He just faked wow. everyone out. He I'll said, yo. I don't know what he's doing. Fire for three. He's in his bag flight. He's in his bag. He's back home in Indy. Like I say, he has another bag in the car. There's only the first bag. Man got his own rebound. Turner. Got Turner. Top at that key. Miles Turner. 11-2 run for the Pacers. Brunson back in the game. He said, enough of this. Enough of this. Treat me like Josh Hart, Tibbs. Treat me like Josh Hart. Don't take me out. Don't take me out. I want that Josh Hart treatment, too. 46-41. And foul. And one. This part is a little laggy. This isn't me. This is Dawkins. Nick's got the lead. Nick's got the lead. It's fine to me. Okay. Okay. Brunson, Brunson on the floor. What happened? No, he got sent. Flight, he listened to you, Flight. He said feet tall. He found remember. He said feet tall and jumped up off the ground and blocked the shot. He remember. He, he listened to you. Okay, now it looks like he's a little bit better. The, uh, Halliburton running. Uh, no, he, he took it all the way. Why does he like feel like it's been Pacers games every day? Wow. Okay, now they're back on a run again. These playoff games are spread out, weird. And they was at the flight and all the NBA fans, nigga be playing back to back during playoff games. <laughs> Y'all would have them play back to back during playoff games. <laughs> if it was up to the NBA fans to dictate the schedule. Iso. Oh, he got, oh, got, got Rick cookies. He <laughs> he. I didn't even know Brunch can dunk. Me either. Side count. Okay, 59, uh, 53. Under a minute to go in the first half. Brunch. He's in his area, mid range. Brunch is different. Though. Yeah, He's yeah. Different. Once he gets inside that mid range area, he can't. You can't go. You can't stop him. He got moves for days. He try. He kind of like Howler bacon. He's in his bag and he got like another three bags in his car. You, you ain't gonna stop him. Got brunch with the ISO swing pass and a five day contractor. Lucky at three. Side count. Four seconds left. Three seconds. ISO. On the back. Whoa! Whoa! Behind the back was something. Looking like me, sir. I do that behind the back. Go move on. That's my favorite move behind the back. If you guys didn't know, I love to do that behind the back move. He oh. he. <laughs> Pull up. Yo. Nah, he got him with that move. Turner. Coast the good one all the way. He can do that. Quarter 65 to 58. Good game we got so far. Okay. Knicks. I mean, Knicks are losing. Swing pass, Steve Vincenzo. Damn. 
Charge! Oh, I say block. Swing pass to Turner. Oh! Yes. As I said, he listened to you, Flight. He listened to you. He finally listened to you. Holy moly. DiVincenzo. Yo, they going at it. They going at it. Nobody's backing down. Pass. Leave him open. Wow. Wide wow. open. Yo, they don't be playing defense. I'll be telling y'all, man. Three board corner pocket. Halliburton running. Dang, a cent. A cent. DiVincenzo. Bro, bro. Who does remind you of, bro? Who the hell does this remind you of? Cause ain't no way he give it up just to give it right back. Off the dribble, bro. DiVincenzo. What the hell? He was not doing this in Golden State. He really went to go and just take their talent and use it in New York. What did do? That man stole Steph Curry and Klay Thompson's talent just to go to New York and use it. <laughs> Looking like the monster. You ain't the monsters, baby. They said Diva Chinsels are fired. Tysino Brunchen. Halliburton. Ooh. Halliburton. Halliburton put some sauce on that bacon. Okay. So some sauce on that bacon. I ain't gonna lie, that's one of the nicest plays I've seen Halliburton do. That look like, like D, D Rose, nigga. That look like Memphis D Rose, nigga. What you mean, Chicago Bulls D Rose? Nigga. Yep, yeah, I born in 2019, 2020. I don't know nothing about no Chicago or Memphis D Rose. Like hey, hey, like I said, bro, you put some sauce on that bacon. You put some extra syrup on it. Memphis D Rose. This was nice. I remember I had some similar play like that on the left side at sixth grade, bro. I didn't have the cameras on, but that shit was nasty. Floater. Brunch with a quick floater. And me finally getting June 6th. Why? 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 Why it started so late? Adam! And you leave against like the June 1st at the latest. I mean, June's Adam's what? pushing everything back. Hey, man, where he pushed that end season turn, he pushed back the rest of the regular season schedule. What do you do? With a quick floater. DiVincenzo? Oh! Why he covering his mouth? Got Brunson with a quick floater. Oh, he said Brunson. <laughs> he said Brunson right. That's right. He said his name right. Got Brunson with a quick floater. DiVincenzo? Oh! Toppin's been quiet. Oopy! What y'all take? This game is a back and forth. I like it. Spin. Turn around. Pause. I took one of his moves. I took one of Brunson's moves right here. This game is it's the uh, move where he goes in through the lane. And he's left hand. So he go from right to left. And do a half step and then shoot the ball. I'm right hand. So I go left to right. Half step then shoot the ball. I took one of his moves. From him. I take Brun hey, I, I, Brunson. You got some nice moves. I took some of them from you. Now I'm in on my moves. Now they on my style. My own flavor. That's nice. Nice. See, if y'all are small guard, you study Jalen Brunson's game. Study Jalen Brunson's game. That's a great dude to study. Jalen Brunson. Got a five-day contract Oh! He about to slam it down. Boy, you got to stop calling these players five-day contract. You going to make them play trash. It's that flight jinx right here. It's the flight jinx of a five contract five day contract make him miss a dunk. You got a five day contract here? Holy hmm. back. Running heart. Is that not a and one? Yeah, I was about to say you better call that foul. You pushed him in the back. I got foul like this all throughout my youth, bro. Running all through heart. I always got foul like this all throughout my loop. Dude pushing me in the back. Great <laughs> messing up my momentum, bro. I'm about to run into an old lady because you pushed me in the back. Taking over. Making the Warriors look great. Hart? Oh, hell no. He can do that? Bro, in the early 2000s, bro, Jermaine O'Neal would have swatted that all the way to the cheap seats. No bullshit. <laughs> five day? Pass the. Another five day? Five on five day connection. Yeah, five on five day connection. Oh! Damn it, Chenzo! He can.
can do that. I know he had. Okay, Demon Chen. So I know he can block shots like this. He wasn't doing this with the Warriors. So it's a surprise. He took. He really took Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, Draymond Green's talent, and you and the going. He went to Golden State, right? He got signed by Golden State. Took Steph Curry's talent. Took Clay Thompson's talent. Took Draymond Green's talent. Left them and went to New York, and now he's showcasing it, playing out of his mind. Bro, how y'all getting blocked by DiVincenzo, bro? DiVincenzo, man. Yo, clap it up. You're making the Warriors look good. This is the Warriors effect. This is the Steph Curry effect. It's the only thing to be uh, proud That's of. That's what I, yeah, yeah, it is. It is. It is. I just said that, yeah. Out in the bracket. It is. You know he I'm took saying? that, like, he took their talent and started using it in New York. Saying I ain't hating on it at all. But, dog, like, nigga, Sidecom and Turner, y'all, y'all, y'all niggas literally are the two examples of dudes that are 6'8 and up and are like a waste of height. <laughs> bro, ain't no way anybody that is five inches shorter than me, bro, gonna be blocking my shot. It's just not. Flight, you let the air block your shot. Shut up. Not happening. Shut up, Flight. You let the air block your shot. Find me the fucking footage. Like, it's not happening, bro. This is pathetic. Then Julian Newman block Step your up. shot. Then Julian Newman block your shot. Chenzo? Bottom, oh. bro. Demon Chenzo looking like the next summer of Damian Lillard, bro. Bro. He went from... No, he not looking like Danley. He up there blocking shots too. He looking like the next. He looking like the next. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, I don't know who he looking like. He he looking like Raymond Green on defense and Steph Curry on offense. Damn. Dang, Nebby. Damian Lillard to a potential up and coming Damian Lillard. Maybe just slightly less athletic. Better. Okay. Knicks have the lead. Got the McBride dude. Okay. Luck. Ninety-eight to eighty-nine. Pacers going out. Oh! Block! 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 Okay, it's a little laggy again. He made that, okay. Pace is making a nice little run. How the bacon? He's turning the super bacon. He's turning the super bacon. He said, hell no, I ain't going down all three. Hell no. In front of my home crowd, I like that. I never seen how play with this much pride before. Well, probably I have during the end season tournament, but you know what I'm saying? It's the end season tournament. It's back in November, December. You know what I'm saying? He's getting, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? He's, he's, this is different right here. This is, the stakes are worth higher now. The stakes are higher and higher now. Hala Bacon up here making plays Bacon. offense, defense. Steal. Pacers are running. What the? Hala Bacon! Get the work. Make it work. He made it work, Flight. Come on. He made it work. Come on. What type of NBA live animation was this? He made it work. He made it work. You looking like me at the rec league, bro. I was making all types of crazy layups work like that. Nigga. Okay. It wasn't a travel, though. Side gun. Spin move. And one. 99-99. Diva Chesler running. Get him. Halibacon. He's not. Oh, oh, oh. Halibacon's on a different level. I've never seen Halibacon block so many shots, get so many steals, bro. He's on a different level right now. That's what star players do. Halle Bacon, he's showing why he's a star. Why he's on Team USA. Uh, I need you to be doing this with Team USA more than ever now. Uh, I've seen him. I know you can play some defense now, Halle Bacon. I've seen it. I'm watching it right now. I just need that same effort with Team USA. That's all. 99-99. Diva Chesler running. Get him blocked. Six minutes left. 3.56. Just in a step back brunching. Woo! 14-footer. Cart going toast to coast. Sent. He got game. sent. That's why I said Hart needs to calm down, bro. That tie game. It's a tie game. You don't need to rush. You're not losing. Two oh six left. It's okay. You why you gonna go one on three? It's three play. There's two two players right here on your side and one cracking from behind. No, don't just dribble it out. Just stay calm. It's like sometimes he just goes too fast. Sometimes Hart. Like that's his only knock. You play all forty eight minutes, but he just goes too hard sometimes. You gotta know when to go hard and when to stop. Right here, you should have stopped. Tie game, you're not losing. Just stop. Get that shit in. This man really thought he can go one on three. Eee, you ain't Kyrie Irving, baby. Running. Puffy pass. Five day contract play. Are you bogged down by the endless like tasks of shit picking, packing, and shipping you your orders every day? With the finish. Lazy ass defense. Under a minute to go. Side it goes in it. Oh. I think he was about to miss this too. I think he was about to blow this too. You have to smoke it. Why'd you come over and block it, Demon Chinzo? That's that Draymond. Draymond told you that. Draymond told you he took his talent. He taught you that. Golden? They did that bailed out. 106-103 pressure for the three. Ooh. 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 Ooh.
Okay. Shot clock winding down. He got to shoot it. He has to shoot it. Shot! What? What? Five, five, shot clock is at eight. one second limit. Hyla Baker head on. Hyla Baker probably did a Harden, bro. Dribbled out the whole shot clock. Then there's a hand you a hand grenade. So you got to put it up. He probably dribbled out the whole shot clock. But either way. Either way. Either way. Shot clock. Cheers. It is absurd. It is diabolical. It is insane. Ooh, I just like taught y'all like five new vocab words in a 10 seconds span. Diabolical, like ridiculous, hysterical, bro. Hey, whatever y'all want to call it, that's some shot clock cheese. Hey, man, so Dang, I'll be pissed, bro. I'll look at Timothy like this. Time, but bro, all just what else you want me to do? What else you want? He do this at the hash, bro. At one second on the shot clock left. Hand in his face. Nothing but net. What else you want me to do? What else you want me to do, Thibodeau? They win. And they win. They just win based off that, bro. That's crazy shot clock cheese. Game breaking shot clock cheese right there. Nigga. This is crazy. Who is this nigga? I think that one dude that hit the game winner against the Lakers, bro. That one time when Russ was there. LA fitness player drilling the three like from, that, bro, from the hash. This is the, the playoffs. Hell? What the shot clock one and that? Anybody's liable to make anything. 60 seconds left. Brunch should have the ball. DiVincenzo. Yep. DiVincenzo had the ball. He's been on fire all game, but Tibbs got him inbound in the ball. DiVincenzo, you could have came and got it back from Brunson, bro. And Brunson could have set you a nice screen. And you could have had an open shot. This is a simple play. I just brought up a simple play. Bro. Demon Chenzo, get the ball to Brunson. Brunson, you give the ball right back to Demon Chenzo. You set a screen from him. Demon Chenzo going to be open. My rec league coaches always told me the most dangerous guy, the most dangerous guy out of on a, um, when you inbound the ball is the inbounder. That's the most dangerous guy. The dude that's inbounding the ball is the most dangerous one. So you could just run a simple. I don't even know what it's called, but I know it's a play. You inbound the ball, you run. The dude that you pass the ball is going to give it right back to you and set a screen, and you can shoot the three. They should have ran that. 60 seconds left. Brunson should have the ball, DiVincenzo. I'm giving it to DiVincenzo. I said I would have gave it to DiVincenzo. I still would have had him inbound the ball, but he would have got it right back. What the fuck was that? He thought he was fouled. What the <laughs> fuck was this? He thought it was fouled. Brunson gets the ball. The Knickerbocker. And on top of that, you don't even need a three. You can just play the foul. Oh, never mind. Y'all don't got no timeouts. Yeah, yeah, I need a three. Y'all need a three because y'all don't got no timeouts. No timeouts. They got 16 seconds left. Why are you rushing to shoot a three, bro? What happened to your isolations that you do in the pick and roll or something? So I just say, what did I just say? This is actually amazing defense by the Pacers, but bro, this is just poor shot selection by Brunchin. Like, yeah. rare. Like, rare, yeah, poor rare. Shot selection. Yep. What is this? 10. Flight, he looking like you, Flight. He looking like you. <laughs> he look like he got both his legs in the air. Both his legs in the air like this. <laughs> both his legs in the air. Fuck is this? What is this? He looking like you, shit? Flight. Bro. This hockey would be a fire shoe symbol though. <laughs> Sound where he about to dunk. I ain't never seen a nigga with a jump shot, bro. But dude, this ain't it, Brunchin. What was that, bro? Nah, bro. Yo, what's the outcome of this game? Before I say anything. Because, nigga, okay, 110, 106. Now it's 111, nine seconds left. They're down by like seven. Brunchin still has the ball. Kicks it out, Di Vincenzo three pointer. Won't Miss. Brunch and sold. Brunch and sold. Brunch and sold, bro. <laughs> Brunch and sold, bro. What is. Yo! Bro! Eww! I don't know why he's saying he's acting like that's something that he wouldn't do. Hey, ain't that something that Flight would do right here? Would take a jump shot like this? <laughs> what is that? 
something bro, you would what do. What type of attempt shot is this, bro? In the playoffs, seriously, like, yo, the coach better not be no yes man, bro, because this is something that you should be yelling in Brunch's face when you were in the locker room. If I'm the Knicks fans, bro, I'm literally heated. Nah, Thibodeau lets them do whatever they want on offense because they play good defense. Thibodeau, though, he's not an offensive coach. He's a defensive coach. A shot, bro. You have 16 seconds left. You should have drained every ounce of that clock as much as you can. Why did you rush the shot? You shot this like y'all had two seconds left. <laughs> yeah, you could, yeah, you could, uh, yeah. Flight is right. You don't use it. Don't use every ounce of the clock because you're losing. Obviously, if the tie, if the game was tied, then yeah, use every ounce of it. But you know, you could use, you could have got something better than this. Way better than this. 15.4 seconds left. You could have got something way better. You should have swung it to the McBride dude after that pump fake. Nope. Nope. No, McBride ain't touching the ball in this situation. You're not touching the ball. DiVincenzo. Come on, at call. You should have called for the ball. Inbound the ball. Give it back. Set the screen for me. Knockdown. Or Hart. Hart's not touching the ball. You get the rebounds, Hart. Because either he could have just swung it to McBride. McBride could have quickly swung to Hart. Hart would have probably hit the, hit the uh, game time shot. The way he's been playing consistently. No, playoffs. no, been... we're not doing that flight. I'm the head coach. Here's assistant coach flight. Like I said before, I'm going to say it again. DiVincenzo inbounding the ball. That's the most dangerous person on the court right now. The person that's inbounding the ball is the most dangerous one. Okay? DiVincenzo inbounds the ball to Hart. I mean, not Hart, Brunson. Brunson gives it back to DiVincenzo on the move. Brunson sets him a screen, and he shoots the three. Very disappointed, Brunson. You sold this game bad. This was terrible. This should have been an overtime game. Then DiVincenzo ends up missing. It's not DiVincenzo's fault. The game's already over anyway if he makes a three. I'm actually shocked. Well, he ain't looking at box school. Chewy's going to finish off with five. 26 for, uh, for Brunchen. Hart with 10. 35 for DiVincenzo. Man, that's why I said he had the last shot. He had 35. He had 35. He should have took that last shot. Thibodeau, what is you doing? But it's Thibodeau, he, you know what I'm saying? He's not an offensive coach, so I got to calm down. Let me calm down. Halle Bacon had 35 as well. Seven threes. All right, you have 26 for Sidecom. Uh, seven boards. You have Turner with 21 and 10 rebounds. Double-double. Good job, 35 for Halliburton and seven assists. How you play? I got to say, Halliburton is... High key start to step it up in the playoffs. Yep. I need you to step it up for Team USA too, Howard Bacon. Don't you forget it. What, third or fourth uh, 30 plus point game he's had in these playoffs between round one and round two? And what did I tell y'all? Just like in the last reaction with the Knicks versus the Pacers, I said once it goes back to Indiana, if I'm not mistaken, the Indiana Pacers this NBA season have literally one of the top five best records at home. And with that crowd, knowing that they haven't been in the playoffs since, I believe, when Paul George was on the Pacers and outside of that, when Jermaine O'Neal and Ron Artest was in the league and shit. Um, bro, look, bro, they got the home court advantage right now. And they're playing again. To be honest, I'm expecting the Pacers to win the next game. And then the series is going to be tied up 2-2. Two and I already predict this is going to be a seven-game series. You had them so, a seven. I had the Knicks winning. I got the Knicks in this in five. They're going to win the next game in an MSG, game six. I mean, game five. I'm not changing my prediction. Um, let's see if there's any highlights or uh, uh, clips. Because <laughs> we already reacted to the highlights. Oh, yeah, and the Celtics and lost, too. The Celtics score. lost, too. The Celtics lost, too. They're playing around with teams. They just play around with you until they get serious. So I got the Celtics in uh, uh, six. Cleveland is better than uh, Miami without Jimmy. So I get, I get the Celtics in six. I got the Cavaliers winning one more. The Knickerbocker should have took that game into overtime. Then, then uh, 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 Dallas won. Dallas won. I thought they were going to taste broom. I got OKC in five. Key, they could have really been 3-0. The Knickerbockers high key. And, 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 and be honest, if I'm the Pacers, I wouldn't even be celebrating too much if I'm if I'm them. And there's no clips, by the way, y'all. But I want to get this off. If I'm the Pacers, I honestly would not be celebrating too much. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't be getting too much sleep if I'm the Pacers tonight. Because if you really think about it, the Knicks really held their own the entire game. They just had that, like, last-second mistake. This really should have been an overtime game. The Knicks could have really snuck this game away, and it could have been a 3-0, and they could have been in danger of getting swept out in their home floor. But now you're looking at the Pacers, I believe, are going to tie it up the next game. Um, I'm going to predict the blowout. Um, I don't think the Knickerbockers, I don't see them um, having back-to-back, -back, uh, you know, DiVincenzo, seven-plus threes. 
um, and uh, Brunchen, you know, I think it's going to be the other way. I think Brunchen is going to go off the next game, have another 35, uh, 40 type of point game. Um, and I see it's going to be a blowout. The Pacers crowd is way too late. Every time a nigga throws a shot up, everybody in the stadium is jumping up and, and, and standing up and everything. The crowd has way too much. Energy. I think the uh, OKC Thunder and the Pacers probably are the top two teams in the NBA. Uh, and then maybe the Warriors too, um, in that in that in that category with the uh, the best crowds in the NBA. Like I I seriously think like if it's loud enough, like you can probably go deaf in that crowd. But hey man, what are y'all's predictions for the rest of the series, man? Hey, we got a uh, playoff uh, series game, folks.